One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, go across the front. I'm gonna go around the back. And what better place to stow this than under this bite that we just pulled over the top. So there we go, pull. And this thing is super strong. It's not gonna slip. This video is from Mega, who asked about a knot for hoisting wire. This is the wire we're using. It's about a quarter inch thick. Now this wire is pretty slippery. You can see that when I bend it, it has a, uh, a plastic coating. There it is. And that coating likes to be slippery. So the problem he's having is the wire he's using is too thick to bend. He's tried some other knots, but they haven't worked, which means we'll have to put a whole lot of friction on this in order for it to work. Leave yourself some room at the end and start wrapping down your wire. One, two, three. I'm gonna do this eight times. There we go. Now I'm gonna take this end here and go over the top, come back down. And even from here, you can see if I apply tension, I'm already getting the friction that I need to make this work. But this end has to be held, otherwise it's just gonna fall apart. So what I'm gonna do is wrap it behind. And you see this loop that's going across the front? I'm simply gonna tuck this underneath that loop. So I'll lift it up tuck it underneath, pull it back down here to the bottom, and now we have the friction we need to make this work. Oh dear. And when you're done, you simply slide it off your wire. We're hooked up to the tiebreaker. We have our wire. And then our two knots, and let's see what we get. This side I just untied, and we're still attached. We did break over at the bowline. Let's take a look what happened here. Over here, we held. Everything looks good. Over here, oh, it looks like one of our ropes started to slip, but we're still in business. Let's try something else. Now we're gonna try it with some rope. We have a section tied in with the same knot on both sides. I had high hopes that this would work with the rope, but you're about to see that unless you have a rigid structure, it's gonna fold over and slip right out. Stop, stop. Coming undone? Yeah, it is coming undone. Here I tried climbing rope with the same result. Now we're gonna try it on a solid square bar. I thought the bar slipped out, but looking, it looks like it, uh, everything held. I really didn't expect that. And we broke right here. Now let's see if we can undo this. Oh yeah, look at that, other side. Yeah. That's pretty amazing. What do you think? So I don't know the name of this knot, but I do know a couple knot principles that help me figure it out. So one is this hitch here that you see arborists use. I'll wrap this around a bunch of times, and then I'll take my two strands and I'll pass them through. And now as I pull on this, every coil starts to tighten up and I do get the tension I need to prevent it from slipping. Okay. Here's another thing I know. If I wrap this around once, it slips. If I wrap it around five times, it still slips, but less. Once I get to about 10 times, there's so much friction through each turn that I'm not able to pull it so easily. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, go across the front. I'm gonna go around the back. And what better place to stow this than under this bite that we just pulled over the top. So there we go, pull. And this thing is super strong. It's not gonna slip. Take my Marlin spike and I'll pull in a Marlin spike hitch. Now I have my handle and I can pull on this with as much tension as I want and I'll actually snap the rope before this hitch comes undone or slips. If you'd like to support my channel, you can pick up one of these Marlin spikes. I designed it myself. 
I carry them on my shop or Amazon. There's a link in the description. Thanks.